If you're a Kansas basketball fan, and if you're over 35, you'll remember the 1988 national champion Jayhawks, commonly referred to as Danny Manning and the Miracles. Our story today, however, starts two years earlier, in March of 1986, when we were at playing Duke in the semifinal game of the national championship. The cast of characters in this game was quite significant. We had Coach K and Johnny Dawkins of Duke. We had our Hall of Fame coach in Larry Brown in his last year at Kansas after having revived the program. And we had the great Archie Marshall. Archie had a promising career which was hampered by injury, and those injuries are documented here. Set, setting the stage, Kansas was ahead by three points in the second half of the semifinal game at the National Championship weekend playing Duke. Archie and Danny Manning go up for a rebound after a missed Duke shot. You can't see Danny Manning because he's behind Archie in this picture. Danny ends up with the rebound, however, and makes an outlet pass to Cedric Hunter who passes to Archie down the court. This sets the stage for our injury and the start of this saga. Here now is the video. Nice job again by Dryling. Marshall. Oh, oh, he's hurt. He injured his leg. This is a classic anterior cruciate tear. Archie hurts his knee going up to the basket, not landing. He stops and plants his right foot with it internally rotated. If you'll notice on this slow motion video as he comes into the basket, He's got his foot turned in a little bit, and when he goes off the right foot, he's already pulling it up in pain prior to landing. So this was no contact, not on landing, a deceleration kind of injury. This is the Lachman's test in surgery, which shows it, that the ACL is loose. And this is the arthroscopic view of the anterior cruciate, which shows it to be blown apart. The surgery in those days was a bigger deal. It was a big incision and arthroscopic anterior cruciate repair was just coming into existence at that point. So uh, this was not an arthroscopic uh, reconstruction and a big huge open procedure. I have in my um, clips there the anterior cruciate. We used the patellar tendon for a graft, and here in the training room in summer of 1986, we're testing the knee again. In 1987, it was a pretty big deal for Archie to return. Only a couple college basketball players and one pro basketball player had returned from anterior cruciate reconstructions. So, nowadays, it's no big deal. Thirty years ago, it was a very big deal. Everyone kept the players out for a year. That was standard. So Archie was to come back in the season of 1987-88. Fast forward now 15 months to one of the very first late nights. Late night with Larry Brown, Archie's first time back. <laughs> Here on a home video recording that I made from in the balcony of the Allen Fieldhouse, Archie comes in to the lane and does the exact same thing that he did when he tore his ACL against Duke. He plants on his right foot, a little bit internally rotated, 
but now on his newly reconstructed right knee, everything seems to be working well. We're now 15 months post-op. Everything seemed to be looking up for Archie. Little did we know, of course, what would lie ahead. Two months after he had come back, in January of 1988, KU versus St. John's at Madison Square Garden, Chris Piper is throwing into Archie as Archie comes up to the top of the circle. Inadvertently and accidentally, Danny Manning comes in to the middle of the pack and his left knee hits the left knee of Archie Marshall. This blew out the anterior cruciate medial collateral ligament and medial meniscus. This was a devastating injury, far worse than the other. At surgery, the knee was extremely loose and one can see, and even if you're not a trained eye, that the knee is not supposed to go sideways. Flexion and extension, of course, is what the knee does, but in this particular case you'll see that not only is it significantly loose on the Lachman's test there, but he has this sideways motion right here. At arthroscopy at in January of 1988, the ACL was blown in a manner similar to the video of 1986 on the opposite knee. And, of course, this needed repair. Archie went ahead to do very well from both knee operations. Larry Brown actually put him into the senior game, his last game at Allen Fieldhouse, while he was still in a post-operative brace, and he took a 40-foot shot, which he airballed, but uh, the crowd went crazy and gave him a standing ovation, and he got to go into his last game. I knew nothing about that. I wouldn't have been in favor of that, of course, but it all turned out okay. No harm was done. ACL reconstructions from that time period, uh, it was later discovered, had a lot of arthritis develop in many of them. For some reason, Archie was fortunate. He didn't get arthritis in either knee. He said he hasn't had any significant knee issues, and he's played uh, lots of tennis over the years. I tried to get him to give me a video of him dunking a basketball at age 50, but he didn't think he could do it, and so we nixed that. He's had a successful career with alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, and lives now in Dallas, Texas.